Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Dentistry to the Point. This is Dr. Drumil Manik. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the second non-odontogenic cyst that is of developmental. So that is globulomaxillary cyst, or you can also call it as premaxilla maxillary cyst. Now, why is this name given to globulomaxillary cyst? We'll see this in further part of the video. So starting with the cyst, it is due to epithelial entrapment. Why is this occurring? Epithelium entrap ho raha hai aur uska proliferation ho raha hai future mein, which is leading to the formation of cyst. Simple terms mein. Ab ye epithelium kaha entrap ho raha hai, kaun si fusion lines ke beech mein, because initially it is considered as a fissural cyst. To koi bhi do fissure ke beech mein iska agar epithelium entrap ho na zaruri hai. So the fissures are between pre-maxilla and maxilla. So the fusion lines jo bhi rahegi pre-maxilla aur maxilla ke beech mein, वहां द एपिथीलियम इज गोइंग टू गेट एंट्रैप एंड फ्यूचर इन फ्यूचर इट इज गोइंग टू लीड टू ग्लोबुलो मैक्सिलरी सिस बट दिस रीजन व्हाट इज द रीजन ऑफ एंट्रैपमेंट ऑफ एपिथीलियम एपिथीलियल कंपोनेंट इन बिटवीन द फिजर्स इज स्टिल नॉट क्लियर देयर इज नो एग्जैक्ट रीजन प्रोवाइडेड सो वेरियस इन्वेस्टिगेटर्स हैव सजेस्टेड दैट दिस सिस शुड बी इंक्लूडेड इन द ओडोंटोजेनिक ओरिजिन बिकॉज़ इसकी जो क्लिनिकल और रेडियोग्राफिकल फीचर्स और साइंस से देयर Almost similarly or comparable to lateral periodontal cyst or primordial cyst, and another thing is that there is no exact reason for entrapment of epithelium. So most of the investigators have suggested to include this as a cyst of odontogenic origin. Right. Next, moving on to the clinical features of odontoglobulomaxillary cyst. That is, it is usually an Asymptomatic cyst rarely you will see swelling, discomfort, or pain in that region. Now, main thing which you guys need to remember is the position of globulomaxillary cyst. So, the globulomaxillary cyst is present between the lateral incisors and canine. That is upper maxillary lateral incisors or canine ke beech ke region mein it is going to be present because is in that area only the fusion lines are present of premaxilla and maxilla premaxilla or maxilla ki jo fusion lines hai wo usi area mein aati hai that is between lateral incisors and canines to clinically dekha jaye to it is an asymptomatic cyst rarely aapko swelling discomfort ya pain dekhne ko milega it is usually discovered during routine dental examination it is usually discovered during routine dental examination i have already told you asymptomatic location also bata diya rarely swelling discomfort and pain and the associated teeth that is the lateral incisor or canine jo bhi associated teeth hai they are going to be vital rarely the teeth are going to get infected after the occurrence of the cyst but in most of the cases the teeth which are associated with globulomaxillary cyst are Vital. So this is about introduction and clinical features of globulomaxillary cyst. Now next, moving on to the most important part of globulomaxillary cyst, that is the radiographic features of globulomaxillary cyst, from which you may get questions in your pre-PG examination. So the radiographic appearance of globulomaxillary cyst is going to appear as an inverted pear shape. रेडियोलूसेंस यू गाइज ऑफ मस्ट सी इन पियर तो पियर को आप अगर इन्वर्ट करके रख दोगे सो इट इज गोइंग टू अपियर एज एन इन्वर्टेड पियर शेप्ड रेडियोलूसेंस इज सीन इन विच एरिया बिटवीन लेटरल इंसाइजर एंड केनाइन के बीच में आपको रेडियोलूसेंस ही दिखेगी जो भी रूट एसोसिएटेड होंगे टीथ के जो भी टीथ एसोसिएटेड है उसके रूट आर गोइंग टू गेट डाइवर्स वो रिजॉर्व नहीं होंगे बट द रूट आर गोइंग टू गेट डाइवर्स और लास्टली द एसोसिएटेड टीथ आर गोइंग टू बी वाइटल एज आई सेट की जो रेडियोग्राफिक अपेयरेंस थी वो आपको थोड़ी थोड़ी लेटरल पेरोडोटल सिस्ट जैसे भी दिख सकती है और यू कैन ऑल्सो कन्फ्यूज इट विथ रेडिकुलर सिस्ट ऑल्सो बट रेडिकुलर सिस्ट में क्या रहता है कि द टीथ इज गोइंग टू गेट अफेक्टेड फर्स्ट एंड देन इट इज गोइंग टू लीड टू द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ सिस्ट राइट बट इन ग्लोबिलो मैक्सिलरी सिस्ट द टीथ इज नॉट गोइंग टू गेट इन्फेक्टेड द टीथ इन मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेज आर वाइटल सो यू नीड टू मेक अप्रोप्रिएट डायग्नोसिस तो आपको याद क्या रखना है आपको याद रखना है पियर शेप रेडियो लूसेंसी विच इज एसोसिएटेड विथ ग्लोबिलोमैक्सरी सिस्ट सेकेंड इज अ लोकेशन दैट इज बिटवीन अपर लेटरल इंसाइजर एंड कैन आई नेक्स्ट मूविंग ऑन टू द हिस्टोलॉजिकल फीचर्स ऑफ ग्लोबिलोमैक्सरी सिस्ट सो इसमें दो टाइप्स के एपिथिलियम प्रेजेंट हो सकते हैं दैट इज फर्स्ट इज स्ट्रेटिफाइड कॉमस एपिथिलियम और यू कैन ऑल्सो सी सीएटेड कॉलमनर 
epithelium right no signs of pseudo stratified ciliated columnar epithelium is seen only two types that is stratified squamous and ciliated columnar epithelium are seen remaining cystic wall is going to be made of fibrous connective tissue and chronic inflammatory cell infiltrate is also seen quite simple histological which is nothing much to remember in that and next lastly treatment of the cyst is also going to be same that is surgical excision with preservation of associated teeth jo bhi teeth associated hai globulomaxillary cyst ke sath you should try that you are able to conserve that teeth and save the teeth and excise the cyst right so this is all about globulomaxillary cyst five to six things you need to remember first is epithelial entrapment kaha hoga between premaxilla and maxilla right or you can also consider nowadays it is considered as it is a cyst of odontogenic origin but entrance exam point of view still they ask question in this manner only that the cyst which is associated between premaxilla and maxilla right or you can they can also ask the position of the cyst that is between upper lateral incisor and canine next is inverted pear shaped radiolucency right so these are the three to four points which you need to remember regarding globulo maxillary cyst i hope so you guys have understood the topic if you have any doubt regarding this topic or any other topic please let us know in the comment section at last please like share and subscribe our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get first and the foremost updates of all our lectures which we upload thank you